Hey everybody, I wanted to update you on this little cute painting. Oh my gosh, it turned out adorable. And I said I would be selling it at a discount just because this was a scrap piece of wood. Um, but I would be um, resining it. So you won't really notice those raw edges. So I am offering this one for $35 with free U.S. shipping. So give me a holler if you are interested. And of course, I'd have to resin it before I can mail it out. So let me know. It's very cute. See, on a wall, adorable. All right. And this is something I've been playing around with. This is a couple days worth um, of just practice. It is nowhere near like the people that I have been watching on YouTube, but it is really fun. And the more I practice, the better I will get. So I've been having fun with that. And um, as I said, it's not even like 10% finished. So let me get you up here. It is New Year's Day, and I still have this cold and feel like crud, but it's not going to stop me from painting. Um, yesterday, I put up a video of um, my uh, display for my gallery show. Um, it's just a little bit of... I think it's like a minute and a half. I let my, or I had my daughter film um, while I was, we were doing stuff. And she's like, I don't, want, I don't know what to say. So there's not really any words on it, but it'll give you an idea. And I have about 60 some paintings in the exhibit. That's how big an area I have. So I'm super excited. I am just, so I'm doing today a pour on a round piece of MDF, half inch thick, uh, medium density fiberboard, I believe is what MDF stands for. I have um, a friend who cuts them for me. Um, you can purchase them. Um, I found on various places, um, but this is, I mean, he does it very inexpensively for me. But I think I saw Christina Welch is having, is, sells these. Um, Christina, if you're watching and I have that right, then you could get more information. If it's not you, then I apologize. And I'm going to do a uh, swipe using treadmill silicone and this and the washing machine pan I'm pouring into all that can be found on Amazon and the link is in the video description. So the colors I'm using I have had because I've been playing around with some pouring medium which I don't like. Um, so I've had a bunch of paints that uh, I don't know what colors they are anymore because I've been mixing and mixing and mixing and combining them together when there's not much left. So I'm trying to use up all the paints I have before I start mixing some more. Because I think I only have names on maybe four of the colors. Everything else is um, self-mixed. But this color I mixed and I love it. This is Liquitex Basic Magenta and um, Artist Love Neon Pink. It is super cool. And this is a mix of a bunch of purples and iridescent medium. This is uh, Artist Loft Lime Green, Artist Loft Neon Green. Um, there was a smidge of gold left. I tossed that in there. Uh, that might be it. This, I think, this one might be just uh, Grumbach or Turquoise with some iridescent medium. Possibly pouring medium. They all have Floetrol and water. 
And this is a mix of various blues and I believe iridescent medium. So really pretty colors. I'm going to carefully set those aside. But that magenta with the um, neon pink is really pretty. I was not using the neon pink by itself. It was just too bright. Um, and this, once I've used some, I am going to finish adding the uh, neon yellow into it. I don't like the neon yellow or the neon colors by themselves. They're just too bright but they do look really good with other colors. Um, I need a little cup because I am putting um, silicone in a tiny bit of the white. And this is the paint I use for my white. You can use any brand um, house paint. I use the house paint because it's in, um, you know, it's a, you could get it big, big bulk, and it's a little bit less money. Um, and it is mixed with Floetrol and water. And this is all mixed up in here, but it, there. I was going to say it doesn't really look like it, but it is. So I only need a little bit for the silicone. And I may as well just add the silicone to that. I'm going to add like two drops. It's really all I need. And set this aside. These bamboo sticks are also on my list. They're awesome. They clean right up. And then you can just reuse, reuse, reuse. This looks to be a pretty good consistency, a little thicker than I usually have it, but not thick enough to go back and thin it. It'll work just fine. And I primed this MDF. Uh, this Usually I just prime it with my Dutch Boy paint. It's paint primer in one. Um, but this time I decided to see if, because uh, I thought I had some kills left, which is the waterproof primer, um, and I did. It was so old that the lid had um, rusted almost through. It was so difficult to get the lid off, and um, it smells awful. Well, it smells awful to be, I mean, it, it just does and I have not used it in so long, I've forgotten. But I then um, put it into two smaller plastic containers since I demolished the lid, <laughs> trying to get it open. So that, and then I sanded it. And I actually only primed I only primed one side. Uh, usually I do both, um, but I really wanted to paint it today, so <laughs> I never got around to doing the other side. But, so you can see probably that the other side is unfinished, but I will paint it white. Um, probably after I resin, because then I, because I don't tape the back of these round ones, it's just too difficult. So I sand them um, after I resin, and then I'll just paint it then. Uh, let's set that over there. And I need um, my official swiping tools, which is this cardboard. 
torch out the air bubbles. And now I have to decide how I want this to go. pink up higher. This has the silicone in it, and I am pouring it along the top. Look how pretty.
And I'm going to switch to a paper towel. Get it moving a little bit. Um, if I could go back, I would not have swiped the other directions, but um you can even tell as I am patiently waiting that other colors are starting to come out of this. So that's good. That's what I want. But um, I didn't want all of these. So what I'm going to do Just think a second. <laughs> I'm going to see what happens when I torch and then Okay, I'm leaving it. That made my decision for me because <laughs> I was going if I still hadn't liked it, then I was going to get more white with silicone and pour it this way and swipe down. But that torching was perfect. It brought up all the various colors. Um, so now I can see all of them. I am going just to do some minor things.
I would like the edges to be more, those are more flared out, so. Likes me that it's more this way. Add a little bit more white with silicone. See if this even works how I'm thinking it should or how I want it to. adding a little bit more cells, sort of.
into tilting it down and to the right a little bit. gotten that more even. There's a lot of paint down there. Checking to see if any of this paint wants to move. Because there is, as I just noticed, there is quite a bit. I'm just going to clean up the sides. Um, the edges on the MDF dry super quick. Touch up. Ah, and as I did that, I didn't realize I was dragging it into. Voila. Loving it, loving it, loving it. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch y'all next time. Bye.